Finding a rehabilitation care provider is the first step in regaining independence. It is the place where patients work to regain mobility, learn to remaster everyday activities, and strive to return home. The Acute Rehabilitation Program at Providence Little Company of Mary Medical Center, San Pedro, has been rated nationally for successful patient outcomes and is accredited for adult medical rehabilitation and stroke specialty. Under the direction of Dr. Ann Long, the interdisciplinary team develops a personalized treatment program utilizing the latest therapeutic techniques and state-of-the-art equipment funded by generous donations from former patients. Rehabilitation is almost like a school that uh, we take out patients as a whole and they usually have some kind of condition that impair their functional mobility and activity of daily living. Our goal is to maximize their functional potentials, uh, train their families so that they can go home and go back to their community. Most of our patients have some kind of neurological conditions. We have spinal cord injury, traumatic brain injury, multiple trauma patients. We have been getting quite many liver, heart, and lung transplant patients from UCLA. The patient's journey often begins with a community liaison. When I first make contact with a patient who's referred to the acute rehab center, they generally want to know what this is all about. So I usually tell them that we are a hospital. They will be medically monitored and taken care of 24 seven. But instead of being in their hospital bed for the majority of the day, they will be participating in three to five hours of therapy. So working here is not like a regular floor. It's still a regular floor in the sense of medications, treatment. Uh, we take care of all of that. But it's here we, we work on all aspects. Their mental, emotional, spiritual, all aspects are important for wholeness. Physical therapists create a treatment plan aimed at increasing mobility and endurance. When we evaluate the patient, even though we have this diagnosis 10 times a week, it's gonna be very different for that patient. Each discipline is exacting in their approach of what specifically that patient will need. Physical therapy really emphasized learning how to walk again. I was in the exoskeleton for a few times to learn how to move my leg. It's a controlled movement. When I had the accident, the diagnosis was that I would end up being a quadriplegic. When I got to the acute rehab center, therapy techs here were very serious about what it is that they do. Came up with a work plan that would get me to where it was that I said that I wanted to be. Occupational therapists help patients remaster everyday activities. Occupational therapy, we are here to help you resume your independence and your daily life skills. We want to help people resume participation in their daily life activities. Initially, I could do most nothing myself. I had to learn how to put on my socks. I had to learn how to put on clothes. I had to learn how to pick up things. Our hope for a patient leaving acute rehabilitation would be to resume some small forms of independence. We don't expect total independence by the time they leave us, but ideally we'd love for them to be able to feed themselves or at least get out of bed by themselves. Speech-language pathologists help patients with speech and communication, but that's just one aspect. We also work with cognition, such as memory, attention, problem solving, and we work with swallowing, so making sure that swallowing is safe after a stroke. He wasn't speaking, he wasn't eating without being fed, and after he came here, they started working in therapy right away, and he began showing progress. I loved how they worked with him. Each patient's therapeutic team meets frequently to discuss progress and to adjust the rehabilitation plan. In addition to individualized daily therapy, patients also take part in recreational therapy. This is an extremely beneficial therapeutic practice. It allows the patient to get their mind off of the life stressors that they've been encountering and just take a break for a moment. 
The Rehab Center offers educational support groups and a dedicated psychologist for patients and families, ensuring the patient's safe re-entry into the community as the final goal. The Rehab Center is located within a hospital, providing access to 24-hour medical services, as well as many other specialty programs. As part of discharge planning, the rehabilitation team may visit the home environment and make recommendations on equipment, furniture layout, and accessibility issues. Located in San Pedro, the Rehab Center at Little Company of Mary Medical Center has helped thousands of patients on their journey back towards independence for almost four decades. In the midst of my accident, I have talked to a ton of people who have gone through similar injuries that are nowhere near as well off as I am right now. And I'm certain it has to do with that team. This is not something I could do myself. A lot of people helped, a lot of staff. I am so grateful. The Acute Rehab Center means the world to me because they have given me my world back. This is absolutely the most special place for rehab. <laughs>